Hello guys, D Enigma here. Okay, uh, so they released Batwoman trailer. Um, before that, they released a teaser, and uh, in which uh, I saw some uh, glimpses of uh, Bat Signal and uh, Batwoman costume. Uh, Batwoman costume is looking freaking awesome. I just love it. It's just I know it's not people say like it's not comic book accurate, but it's a really uh, to look at. Um, so. First, I'm gonna talk about the teaser, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty late for that, but uh, you know, it's, it ties with the trailer, so that's why I have to talk about both of them. So I was like, you know, let's wait t till the trailer come out, and then we're gonna talk about it all together. By the way, first video, so bear with me. <laughs> and um, okay, so here we start. Um, so it opens up uh, with a chart of the city. Looks great. A bad signal. And bad woman in a few shots. Uh, You're a female Bruce Wayne. Awesome, hilarious, handsome. Yeah. I don't want her to become a female Batman because why would you need a female Batman? Come on. I mean, she is a character in her own self, and she got few stories. You can tell from that she got villains pretty interesting ones and you know you can create new ones for that because you know you got option there too and that's how you can go with it you guys got a jackpot here you can work with it you can you know uh, take your time and uh, tell stories which would be great uh, speaking of which first thing I just uh, noticed in the trailer so it opens up with the uh, an agency or uh, yeah agency like shield they have their own version which is security is an agency which is protecting Gotham City and sadly they just acknowledge us that the Batman is no longer uh, is no longer in the city he just abandoned them where is he is he lost is he busy doing stuff in Teen Titans season 2 or oh, sorry the uh, Titans uh, season 2 I'm pretty sure he's busy there up on us the bat's not coming back he did a jump where I don't know is there any Batman sidekick really established in this universe I don't think so because they just showed us no one no Nightwing no bad girl no Robin any of the Robins red Robin no no one they just straight up told us that Bruce Wayne is gone bye bye his old uh, Wayne Tower is like an abandoned warehouse and it's sad and the bat cave is underneath Wayne Enterprise you know you can give us a better Batman here CW why didn't you give us a better Batman you guys got the tools you guys are desperate in need for a Batman so come on give us give us a definitive Batman for a TV show you guys did so much so freaking much wrong with Arrow with the Ray Shalgo storyline I'm still mad at that you guys can easily jump to season 4 without even knowing that season 3 exists because damn it it was the worst season I've ever seen they just adapted so much from Batman and why would you guys adopt so much from Batman because it's Arrow and I'm pretty sure they're gonna do the same thing with bad woman she'll be fighting the Joker I'm calling it there will be a female Joker and there will be a female Bane Mr. Freeze will it will be Mrs. Freeze who knew Victor Freeze which is Victor Fries of the French for some stupid reason in Gotham will be replaced by his wife I'm pretty sure they're gonna do that they're gonna go in so many routes which I'm pretty sure it will be infuriating I'm not mad at this series this series is gonna be one of the better ones that they produce because it's Batman related who can who can say no to Batman come on and you know since Titan got high praises because it was so dark and gritty and uh, set in a universe where things are pretty much uh, Snyder-esque uh, I was like you know what let's let's do this one let's check this series out. maybe it's one of the best series they've ever produced or maybe it's one of the worst series they ever produced it, a time will tell they have a reputation of ruining many many storylines of comic book just for the sake of TV and just for the sake of few fan services which uh, which then again sometimes I don't have problem with but sometimes it's 
is just pain in the ass. I just come back woman. I'm pretty sure there's Lucius Fox. I mean, I was calling him Lucius Fox. So I don't know. Maybe he's um, maybe he's um, Albert Einstein or someone like Jarvis uh, Jimmer Jeremiah or someone like that. You know, they can come up with stupid characters like they did for Arrow. I'm still mad of list is not come on she was good as season one and then she become not that much good as season progresses but yeah we deal with that too and uh, the forced feminism I just don't want that because we all know she is a woman and we respect that I love this character and I was like this is gonna be awesome looking forward to it and as the damn thing pop up saying uh, here is her why why going on the same route where captain marvel did and look how much backlash that it got you guys could easily avoid it come on you guys have to go there you have to go with the home why going on the same route where captain marvel did and look how much backlash that it got you guys could easily avoid it come on you guys have to go there you have to go with the home Thing, come on. I'm not mad at it, but it's just annoying at times. You know, we love watching our badass female characters, independent women with ethics, morals, with background and fighting and stuff. It's good. We just love them the way they are. And when they start saying we're feminists, things get bad. It's like. If Captain America all of a sudden come out and say I'm a racist guy, what you gonna do? People will start getting mad, right? That's what politically correct and incorrect things are taking us towards. I mean, Whoa, it's they think I'm him. For building, I was on board with everything, and then they just uh, give us this one stupid line, which I was like, what? So she just hear it somehow. Maybe it's bad hearing after all. We don't know. <laughs> it's just stupid. So she just comes back to her cave and she just adds, I can't let a man take credit for a woman. She's so stupid that she fell for a kid. I mean, I know kids are stupid. I'm not about to let a man take credit for a woman's work. What? And also, one line, one more line she said during the tra trailer when uh, Lucius Fox, I'm calling him Lucius, I don't know who he is uh, at the time of this video. I uh, totally find out later who he is. And that's just, um, that's just odd. That's just really odd that she just said that. He said that the suit is made for perfection and she just said that tell it fits a woman. The suit is literal perfection. It will be. When it fits a woman. And here she is like, I'm a woman. Why? We don't want that. We respect the way this character is. We love the way this character is. We don't want any hokey. Work with the CW. Work with the fans, man. Work with the fans. But they just uh, straight up said, um, they want to go with this new bad woman okay uh, speaking of which um, the whole story which they are telling in uh, this is the pilot episode I'm pretty sure uh, it's related uh, to the animated movie which they produce named Batman bloodlines I'm pretty sure I don't know I'm still um, I'm still unsure about it but uh, they had this story in which the Batman was abducted by Ra's al Ghul or maybe Talia al Ghul and because it was a follow up uh, to the son of Batman and uh, there, there they also put one more uh, another great storyline uh, in which uh, Dick Grayson was emerged as uh, Batman and uh, you know from there they started an ongoing new series Batman Robin uh, by Grant Morrison and uh, it was by design that they wanted a Dick Grayson to take role and it was by design that they want Jason Todd to play this certain character, certain badass version of Batman who used guns and uh, Dick Grayson was the 
Batman with the morals and ethics of the real person of the real Batman I was like you know we can work with that and I just love their story but then again the problem came not from that part the problem came that they cram it in and they also crammed this Batwoman uh, story there and it was pretty much uh, it doesn't make any sense so again if they're going with that route that Batman just disappeared for some stupid reason how can you explain that i mean they haven't established him first of all we only saw the suit we where's alfred where's robin where's nightwing where's bad girl and if bad woman is the first woman ever to have ever fit the bad costume then i don't know what to say about it because why why would you skip bad girl i mean she's the main uh, she is uh, she was the important part of Batman Mytho she has been important part of Batman Mytho for a long time and I did not I never saw Batwoman before Batgirl I mean if they are going with the original version that's some other story I never read it I don't even care about because the story which I read on which this show is based on doesn't have anything like that and they also acknowledge that she is Batman's cousin okay okay or your boss is my cousin <sighs> Maybe I get so much in my mind, maybe it's too much to take since the trailer and it's just, I just do not know what to say. Uh, the villain looks great, okay, she's the white hair girl, I'm pretty sure it's Alice inspired, I uh, can't remember which villain uh, it is, but uh, the way they are showing the white rabbit and the girl in blue costume, I'm pretty sure it's Alice. Uh, Alice the killer maybe Alice the knife holder I don't know I just um, I just blanked out um, still I can't remember her name is just sad and I don't do research for the sake of uh, review because uh, it's on sport reaction I did not got enough time to do it okay so um, yeah they just released a Batwoman trailer let's see where it takes us from there if the series is freaking awesome i'm like you know i will watch maybe it's like for one episode if they do it for one episode and then they just move on and skip it i will i won't have any problem with that i will be like yeah man you know it's, it was one episode cool and things are became normal again i don't have anything against with captain marvel either i just love their character but the problem was they just made her famine is the hell of it it's my first video guys come on give yeah, because cut this guy sounds like come on We'll work this out and you know what see you guys in the next video we'll see what pop up next in the comic book universe